Hello folks, it's me again, Mark. I had to uh, move a video for um, personal reasons, someone phoned me. Anyway, yeah, so I get um, arrested at my mum's um, early 90s police. I committed a theft and the UTMV. So I get sucked to the police station. I, because I haven't done it, I'm going to give them a, a comments interview. So I didn't know who a Susan Dooley was. So uh, I denied it and I was telling her busy, look, you would not be getting, you would be getting a no comments interview off me if I had done that. Anyway, I get bail from court. My man stood £10,000 shorty, not to approach the witness, self saving to all agents, and to sign on at the plot shop three times a week, I think it was. So, where uh, I get remanded um, bail with them conditions, and then about a week later, I go to sign the police station, sign on. Two jacks walking behind me, arrest me for, for, for perverting the course of justice. This Susan Quinn had said that I had offered her money and drugs to drop the charges, which was a load of baloney. So I get remanded in custody, bearing in mind I've only been to one for fines a man's jail for fines and I think then you went um, waiting on reception whatever getting your bed packed your pillow slip with your cutlery your razor and all that crap in it you know um, getting on the wing getting the noise and what not you know it's a uh, it's an experience like but when you haven't done it it fucks your head up but you think, what keeps you going is this fella's in here doing life. So, I'm going to get not guilty. So, if I'm going to be in here for six and a half months, seven months, whatever. Well, that's fuck all, is it? It's a shit in the shade, so a life sentence. So, anyway, I didn't know who Susan Quinn was. So, I picked out, and I picked for an oral committal. I went to the oral committal, and I knew her. Her name was not Susan Quinn to me. Her name was Susan Dooley. I'd known her. Just uh, my dad, he's passed away now, used to be a good kiter. Used to uh, knock about with uh, Totter Lawton, Georgie Lawton. R.I.P. Georgie, rest in peace, mate. Uh, my dad was a good kiter, you know, uh, travel abroad, travel with checks, do, you know, what you do, you know. And uh, anyway, so I get uh, stitched up and I'm on, remain, on the wing. And what's keeping me going is I'm wanting me visits every other day. I'm wanting a weed, I'm wanting weed, I'm wanting weed, I'm wanting weed. So... Uh, yeah, so I guess the oracle metal and it was Susan Dooley. I was absolutely livid. When my dad used to go kite and he said, go and stay in my friend's Susan Dooley's in the day, because I was only young, and uh, stay there. Then one day, I wasn't going to put this in it, but I'll put it. One day, I was laying on the couch and Susan says, I'm getting a bath. She goes upstairs, comes back down from the bathroom with a see-through see nighty on and a nice underwear set. And I went, oh, oh, 16, a virgin. And what happens? Yeah, we ended up going upstairs to bed. But anyway, um, the police knocks at the door a couple of days before my trial and says she's got to go and give evidence against me so she turns round and says it was my brother 
So me and my brother look like chalk and cheese. So she punches the cop in the face. She gets arrested for perjury and assault. Um, she made the allegation that I drove her to, um, to the Royal Pub and Breck Road in the side door with a video to sell for it, and I was out the front door and I left it in a stolen car, which was crap. So, uh, I got called up to court a day early, and I was arguing with the school going, I'm showing them letters, I'm up tomorrow, I'm up tomorrow. They go, no, you know, get your kit, you're going. So, you're not arguing with them, get me kit going. All the coaches, whatever, had gone. I went in a taxi, and off to schools. Gets there, me, uh, but he said, do you want the good news or the bad news? I said, look, I'll have the bad news. He said, throw your hands in now, you'll get 18 months. I said, fuck off, I didn't do it. He said, I'm only joking, the dot in it. He said, the bad news is we can't get you up till this afternoon. Well, I wasn't asked, was I? But the main job was, is when I go in the cell, don't drool over that I'm getting out this afternoon. When this fella's there, get the sentence to years. It's something you don't do. I've been on the exercise yard, on demand for something I haven't done. And you've got people crying over 14 days for fines and you just feel like going fuck off and banging them you know 14 days you do seven and if your release date is a, is a weekend they don't release it on a weekend so you could do uh and yourself in on a wednesday and be out friday morning in fact thursday and you'd be out friday because if you if you get seven days, you do four days. Well, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday don't release on Sunday, so you can do 20, 20 odd hours for seven days. But uh, yeah, she ended up getting nicked for perjury and uh, assaulting the police officer. She went to court and she pleaded guilty. But you know the, these coppers, the way they stitch people up. Um. Ian Solmio, 15 years for rape from Adderall Street. Um, Elmore Davis, can't remember what his sentence was, um, with one of the braids um, from Morton actually, because I used to work at the Mum the Flower Store and I used to work there years ago. Um, Elmore Davis went to jail. Barry Pitt used to take rent off drug dealers to not nick them. How? Why, why are they like this? You know, the irons are the, I've had off the police as well. When I used to get nicked in Jubilee Drive where I lived, they'd take me to Jubilee Police Station when it used to be open, through Nugent Park, across the grass. In, in the car, van, ran it a few times, for I'm fucking bastards, bastards, bastards. But, uh, you know, uh, there's too many corrupt officers. One of my mates got raided. He took 50 grand, but when they got in the police station and counted it, it was only 25 grand. You know, it's disgusting the way the police behave. Anyway, yeah, my stitching up, she got 12 months. And I felt sorry because the kids got took off and put into care. But, you know, if she wants to uh, plead guilty, because I ain't assisting the police, if she'd have pled not guilty, they wouldn't have got me going there. But that's life, isn't it, you know? Grassing is a bad thing, but making a false allegation is naughty. Now, I know it was a theft and a UTMV. Imagine that girl would have made an allegation of rape against me. Well, hell, that would have been on the numbers. Well, I wouldn't have went on the numbers if she'd have made a false allegation of rape. I'd have fucking soft it out, mate. I'd have soft it No, 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 no. 
I'm fucking, you know, I'm not having that laugh. You stick by your guns. But, you know, they just, these toppers, you know, last year, 200 and odd was sacked or disciplined for um, misconduct, you know, and it's totally wrong. And I want to start getting out there auditing police stations, prisons, as soon as the weather gets a bit fine. As you know, I'm uh, not in the best of health, but you know, my mate will give me a lift wherever they want to go, whatever they want to do. I just want to just come on now just to have a little chat and basically to get to know where uh, YouTube a bit better and get to learn how to present a bit better because with uh, practice come perfect, well not perfect, but you know, near to. But, you know, you can only do your best, you know, and everyone's got their own little mannerisms and characters. I give the little wink, you know, the little head nod and, you know what I mean? You're on the ball, aren't you, lads? You know, we're scousers and we're not tech. We're shrewd, clever men. We call it, I call it, living within these back streets, you know. You've got to be wise. Anyway, folks. I hope you're enjoying your night. Have a good one. I'm gonna uh, build a one skinner because of me COPD. I only build one skinners. Uh, but then I'm gonna go round and uh, tout for a few subscriptions. So thank you very much. Have a nice evening and thanks for joining me. Hola.